Hi everyone, my name's Tom Peters. Welcome to another My Physio SA uh, educational video. Today I would like to talk to you a little bit about foam rolling of your calf. So the foam roller is a, an increasingly popular gadget. I'm sure you've seen it in your gym, at your sports club. You might even have one at home. Uh, they're a fantastic way to uh, release tight sore muscles. Very, very useful as part of your warm-up routine before exercise and then maybe even more importantly as part of your recovery routine after exercise. I think there's a couple of common mistakes that people make when they're using their foam roller and today I'd like to talk you through a couple of those and, and also in the correct use of the foam roller itself. As I mentioned, the, the foam roller is, is potentially not always used to its full extent and there's a couple of really common mistakes that we see on the foam roller. The most notable one is people simply rolling up and down the foam roller fairly aimlessly for 20 or 30 seconds and then feeling as if they've, uh, they've completed the job. I think we can be a little bit more targeted than that and uh, there's some, some simple techniques that we can use to get the most out of your foam roller. So this is the starting position that uh, I'd like you to try when you're foam rolling your calf muscle. Uh, with your hands underneath your shoulders, I want you to lift your bottom up from the floor so that you're getting a little more weight down through that, that calf muscle, in this instance my right calf. I want you to cross your leg over the top so that you're applying a little bit more downward force through the muscle that you're rolling. It hurts, I hear you say. It's meant to hurt a little. It's not meant to be a comfortable exercise. But of course, if it's uh, just intolerable, then there's some simple ways that you can um, alter the exercise to make it a bit more suitable for you. Firstly, you might find that simply by taking one leg off and reducing a little bit of weight is, is enough to make that exercise tolerable for you. Alternatively, you might pop two legs up on the foam roller. If that's still not enough, try taking your bottom down onto the, onto the floor or in this, place, in this instance onto the bed and you can do your rolling from that position. So back to our original starting position. I think it works best if you start from the very bottom of your calf muscle and we're going to work our way up the calf, not so much with long strokes, but I want you to start with small strokes up and down of about five centimeters at a time. Don't just work directly through the back of the calf muscle, I want you to roll your weight to one side and to the other. Now there's not much point in rolling tissues that feel absolutely comfortable. We really are more interested in finding the areas that feel tight and feel sore. So as you're rolling your way up, when you find those areas that feel particularly tight and sore, then I want you to stop on those spots, relax the calf muscle, let that calf muscle go nice and soft so that you can sink onto the roller. You're going to stay there for about 10 to 15 seconds at a time or until you feel as though that muscle gives a little bit. It starts to relax a little bit under that pressure. You might also try on those sore spots just a little roll in a sideways direction left to right over that same area. Now you can continue this process all the way up the calf muscle, short rolls, find the sore spots, when you find them, sink into them, 10 to 15 seconds, and then maybe adding a little bit of a roll from side to side until that soreness just dissipates a little, all the way up right through the calf muscle. You can apply the principles that you've just learnt here today with regards to your calf muscle to other muscle groups, particularly in the, in the leg, the lower body. Quads muscles at the front, hamstrings at the back. Will uh, You should be working your foam roller in a very similar way when you're trying to roll these muscles. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this video has been useful. If you have any ongoing troubles with, with your calf or Achilles, if you feel like these exercises just aren't right for you, please stop what you're doing. Uh, make sure you get in contact with one of us here at My Physio SA. We'd love to help to get you back onto track as soon as possible.